Northridge is 11 and 13 right now. Um, I think their record's a little misleading because they played a pretty tough schedule with uh, some ranked teams. And we have seen them play a little bit while we were at the tournament, you know, waiting uh, for our turn to play. Plus, we've played them the last two years. They are, um, they have four pitchers that they use, uh, and they use them all quite a bit, so they don't really have one dominating pitcher that they go to all the time. They're fairly, um, it's not one thing that they rely on, like great hitting or great defense or great pitching. They're just more, I think, pretty evenly um, divided and bringing a pretty good, um, pretty good team to the field. We haven't had good success against them in the past in the Division One era. You know, years ago we played them; they were a big rival. We played them all the time. But um, they do. Ha they have one local player, uh, Jocelyn Reimer, who played at Liberty, and she had a great series against us last year. Was, um, just got on almost every time and hit really well. So she's a kind of local player that will uh, that will be here this weekend. And so they're, they're, they are a good team. And um, of course we can't look past them to UCLA. UCLA is um, a, just a dominating team. And they're clearly the best team that has ever been to our field and that has played here. They are, they're 17 and four against a very tough very tough opponents. They've played eight top 20 teams, I think, and they they just have outmanned their opponents in every aspect. They have better pitching, better defense, better hitting. And when you look at the stats, they're clearly far above their opponents. So they and they have a great tradition, and um, it's just um, it's it's a very very good team. And for the community, it's a great chance to see one of the top teams. So for us, um, we played them two years ago at their place, a single game. We lost uh, zero to three. And you know, our goal is just to, to stay close because you can win a game if you can keep it close. So they have a very, very explosive offense. I think 11 of their hitters have hit home runs already in the season, you know, in 21 games or so. And that means their bench players have come in and hit home runs. So they're very explosive offense. So trying to keep it close um, and just playing not getting, letting the pressure get to us so that they can explode on runs, but just when they get hits, just try to hold it right there so that we can stay in the game. Because if you can stay in the game, then anything can happen. So that's kind of our goal. Well, as far as the UCLA coming in here this weekend, we're really excited. We were really bummed last year that our games got rained out against them. We were looking forward to playing them. So we've been waiting for this for a year now and to have such a big school with you know respectable record and we're just really excited we're ready we're prepared um, up till now we've been really good and I think it's gonna be a good weekend Great that I've actually been able to experience the transitional period it's kind of a bummer that I won't be here until after you know when we're established but it's been an honor being here and um, <coughs> Starting off Division Two, you know, we were a really good team um, through the transition. We've struggled a little bit, but my fourth year, and we've been really good. And um, I just think we're a team to compete with now. You know, we put our best foot forward, and we're ready. As far as playing UCLA again, I mean, we played them once, but we played them on their territory. For them to come here, it's a big deal. We're really excited. Um, we just can't wait. It's going to be such a great experience to have them come on our territory, have our fans. You know, we're expecting a big turnout this weekend. And just, we played them once, we held them 3-0, to zero, and I think this time we're going to have a great chance of possibly beating them.